Hello and welcome to Ask the Photo Dude. Today we're going to use Photoshop CS3 and take a look at some basic editing techniques, uh, beginning with a portrait of a child, which uh, be starts with a relatively underexposed image, which I'm going to open now. As you can see, there's a uh, Flash has been used, but it's been bounced, and uh, but the photo is uh, underexposed both on the face and in the background. So we're going to take a look at uh, three different ways of uh, getting this image back into a usable format. First, we're going to use uh, Photoshop's uh, kind of one-size-fits-all solution, uh, which can be found by going to the toolbar, clicking Image, Adjustments, and then Auto Levels. As you can see, this uh, is a great improvement over the original. brings uh, light into the face you can see the eye color a little bit uh, but from my perspective it's still uh, not as good as it could be and the background still falls out quite a bit so we're gonna uh, undo that change and we're gonna look at uh, editing the levels manually uh, which prior to the uh, back in the days of Photoshop PS7 uh, this would be probably the primary way of uh, dealing with a photograph like this so we're gonna choose image adjustment levels and then that'll bring up this box where we have a graph that has three different bars that we can, uh, slider bars that we can alter. We want to take the one on the left, move it slightly to the right, maybe one, a one unit change. We want to take the one on the far right and bring it all the way to the edge of the sloping end of the graph. And then the bar in the middle is going to allow us to modify the highlight and shadow areas, which we can see by moving it back and forth and you just move that back and forth until you get to a, uh, a tonality that you like and you would go ahead and click OK. Uh, that's still not my favorite uh, method and I'm going to go ahead and undo that and we're going to take a look at a third method. Uh, the method I use most frequently today uh, would start by again clicking image adjustments and going to shadow the shadow highlight uh, adjustment box and you can see it brings us up another series of sliders and if you take the one on the top under shadows and move it back and forth you can see uh, what kind of adjustments that you can make and there's no magic number here I play it by eye basically I get wait till I get a, a look that I'm happy with and then I go with that uh, we can tweak that a little bit more with the tonal width here and then come down to the highlights box and again uh, that'll bring a little bit uh, bring back a little bit more definition in places where the highlights might be blown out and I'll just adjust that a little bit there and I'm going to go ahead and click OK and those are the three basic methods and uh, we're going to take a look at doing further edits to the uh, both bringing out the saturation and the whites in the eyes and uh, correcting some of the uh, facial uh, imperfections that we have in this particular image uh, in our next video.